welcome in the previous lecture we have studied about circular motion their velocity and acceleration in circular motion so let's start today let's start with one of the problem and the problem is what is the direction of acceleration of an oscillating pendulum at different moments of time so suppose there is a pendulum uh, like here and let's say so the if the pendulum is oscillating let it is oscillating in this plane and this is the maximum or extreme positions so the pendulum will never go beyond these two lines this is this line and this line let us say that these are the extreme conditions so if the pendulum is going downward then there will be two accelerations which we have uh, learned earlier that is radial and tangential acceleration so radial acceleration will act in this way around the point of suspension that is o let's call it o so radial acceleration will be in this b o direction and the tangential acceleration will be in at this will be the tangent to that uh, curve that arc of the circle okay so these two ar and at will be present at any instant of time so this was the condition when the pendulum was going down if the pendulum was going up then at will reverse this direction so at in both cases it will be either up or it will be either down okay so the net acceleration will be given by the vector result of ar and at let's say that this is a net acceleration of the oscillating pendulum so a net that the net acceleration of an oscillating pendulum can be given as that under root of ar square plus at square because ar and at are always perpendicular to each other okay so let's uh, have one more problem that is what happens at the extreme positions what happens at the extreme position okay so at extreme position this one let's call it as a or this one let's call it as c so at extreme position let me at extreme position that instantaneous velocity of the particle is zero that's the extreme position where the instantaneous velocity of the particle becomes zero in the simple pendulum case so if the particle is at a then the velocity at that point will be zero it means that the radial acceleration ar will be zero so at extreme positions a net acceleration is given by at that is the tangential acceleration and let's check one more at point the lowest position what happens at the lowest position let's call this to be the lowest position let's call it as d so i am redrawing it so let's call this is the lowest position at particular d and this was the arc of the circle then you can see that uh, the net force in tangential direction at is equal to ft by m the acceleration in the radial direction is given by force sorry the acceleration in tangential direction is given by force in tangential direction divided by mass so at lowest point there is no force in the tangential direction the force is mg downward and tension t upward so at will be zero if at is zero then a net in the lowest position is nothing but the radial acceleration so at the lowest point it will be only ar no at will because at is zero no tangential force is acting at this point so this was the solution of this problem that the acceleration at different points of the oscillating pendulum let's have one more problem so before going to that problem i would like to uh, have some tricks or not trick but how to solve a problem which is related to a circular motion so let's check how to solve a problem and uh, now the question is how to solve problems related to circular motion 
so there is some standard way to solve these types of problems so let's say the step one so in step one what you can do write radial equation of motion so this is write radial equation of motion all the problems of the circular motion can be solved by using these tricks or following these steps i will not call these other steps not called as tricks but these are some steps and for radial direction we know f r the radial force is equal to mass times the radial acceleration so this is the equation of motion for radial direction so for this you have to resolve all the forces in radial direction and perpendicular it so for above you need to resolve all the forces in radial and perpendicular perpendicular direction perpendicular direction to it okay so i will follow these steps so let's have one problem so the next question is write tension in string in simple and conical pendulum conical pendulum so this consists of two problems one is of you have a simple pendulum and second you have a canonical pendulum and you have to write the tension in that strings so let us solve by one by one so this is the part one so here you have a pendulum let's say this is the point of suspension let's call it as o and you have a length a string let's call it here a string of mass m and there is a bob here attached here of mass m okay and let's call this as the the equilibrium position of the pendulum and this was the arc on which the pendulum is moving so if you write and let's call it an instant of time the angle made between the equilibrium and the length is theta and the length of the string is l so if you write the forces then okay let's write the force this will be mg downward force so this is the same line as l let me redraw it so this will this angle will be theta if this angle is theta then this component will be mg cos theta and there will be one more component in this direction this will be mg sin theta okay and there will be a tension in the string let the tension be t in the string so now what i have said write the radial equation of motion so while writing the radial equation of motion we know f r is equal to mass into a times the radial acceleration so what is the net force toward the radius see here you have to consider the sign of this so if i am considering the total inward or total inside force as the radial force okay then the radial force is t minus mg cos theta that is acting inside the that is inside not towards the point of the uh, suspension so this is that and the radial acceleration is given by m v square by r so a v square by r is radial acceleration so the tension in the string at any position of theta is given by m v square by r is here l plus mg times cos theta so that is the tension at any instant of time in the string so let's move to the another problem which was the canonical pendulum so uh, this will be the something called the diagram of a canonical pendulum a simple pendulum of length l and mass m now instead the motion in a 1d plane or a plane like in 
a simple pendulum this pendulum moves in this plane okay so it is it makes a cone like a structure in between them and this is the circle is the base of the cone so this is called the canonical pendulum so let's uh, write the uh, forces in all the uh, let's write the forces and let its components in radial direction and then write the radial equation of motion so let us say that the tension in the string is acting t then and let's say at any instant of time the angle made between the string and this equilibrium position is theta and the gravitational force mg is acting downward there will be a component this t cos theta in this direction and there will be a component in this radial direction this will be this will act inside the circle this will act here so this will be t sin theta okay so and this is the radial line so this is the circle okay so uh, the motion is in circle and this is the radial line now the radial line of this problem has been changed in the previous one problem in the simple cone the length of the the length of the pendulum was in the radial line here the the radius of the lower circle the radius of the lower circle is the radial line okay so let's write fr then radial acceleration is mass time the uh, radial radial force is equal to mass time the radial acceleration there is only one force towards the center let's call it as o this is c so this is t times sin theta is equal to mass times acceleration acceleration you can write v square by r or omega square r i will write it as let's say omega square r so let's redraw this picture here and this r is nothing but this radius this r okay so this is uh, let's redraw this this is your length l this angle is theta then this will be your l cos theta and this will be l sin theta and this is nothing but your radius so t sin theta is equal to m omega square l sin theta this sin theta sin theta cancels out then the tension at string is given by m omega square l omega is a frequency of rotation okay so this was one of the tension in the string one way and the second way you can find the tension in the string that is that is the horizontal circle for the this was so for horizontal circle for horizontal circle one more there is one more equation t cos theta is equal to mg so you can get t by two ways by if you know the theta then you can get the t if you know the omega then you can get the t so this was the another equation for the horizontal circle so this was the problem based on the simple and canonical pendulum so uh, this might seems you all obvious but uh, in many of the problems you need the direct result these types of results to solve that problems so we will have one problem in the next lecture where we will having a cone and the particle is moving on the surface of the cone this problem is also given in uh, that book kleppner uh, so you can solve it here i think that is second chapter 9th problem or second chapter 11th problem something like is given in that so you can solve that problem that is a very good problem to practice these circular motion concepts so we'll do that problem in next lecture thank you